from Throne Elements Pottery and today I'm going to teach you how to make a pinch pot. All you need is some clay and some thumbs. <laughs> to start making a pinch pot you need to have a ball of clay. If it's not perfectly circular you can just pat it around a little bit just like that. Then you have to choose your favorite thumb. Mine's my right thumb and then you'll want to do a thumbs down and stick your thumb into the ball of clay. Now that you have your ball of clay on your thumb, what you need to do is crab claw just like this all the way around your ball of clay. Once you start getting more of a bowl shape, what you can do is put it down on your mat and start pinching around your mat like this, or you can hold it in your hand. It's important to remember that you want a pretty even thickness, no thinner than your pinky and no thicker than your pinky. Sometimes when you're making a pinch pot, it gets a little bit wide on the top or the bottom gets a little thin. And if that happens, that's okay. If you have a bowl at home or one of our forms in the studio, you can place your pinch pot in there and it will start to hold the shape. The bowl is already round and the pinch pot is definitely not perfectly round. So if you press your pinch pot to the bowl, you can get a perfectly round pinch pot. This is also good because you can let this rest anywhere for a little bit so that way the clay starts to stiffen up. Meanwhile, I'm gonna make another pinch pot. You may be asking yourself, what can you do with pinch pot? Well, of course it's already a bowl, so you could just stop there. Or you can attach pieces to it or put handles on it, of course. Today I have two pinch pots, which is great because we're gonna slip and score them together to make a head or a body or even a ball for like a basketball. And this is really easy when you have one pinch pot in a bowl already because I don't have one pinch pot in one hand and one in the other and trying to slip and score it that way. So first to slip and score, of course we need our slip, which is watery clay and a fork or a skewer. And we are gonna slip and score all the way around our edges here. Once I have done that, I'm going to attach them together just like this. And then I'm going to take it out of the form. So of course this is a little raggedy, so what we'll need to do is smooth out those edges. So now that I have a perfect ball of clay with a big air bubble inside, I could add other pieces, I could shape this into whatever shape I want it to be. But it's important to remember that if I left it just like this and I fired it, this would explode. You have to remember that hot air expands, right? So if I wanted to fire it like this, I would have to poke a hole somewhere into the piece so that way air can get in and air can get out. Once I have decided that I am done with this, I'm gonna write my name on the bottom and then I could let it dry for a little bit and paint it later. Of course, I'm not gonna do that today. <laughs> Thanks for learning how to pinch pot with me and we hope to see you soon. Have fun creating and have fun with playing with clay.